I am invited to commentate at the 2023 World Championships in Durban, South Africa. It's been 84 years since they hosted the World Championships in Africa. This is going to be a crazy experience. There are a total of five events. This time, I'm going to focus on the men's singles event because of this guy, Ma Long, the GOAT of table tennis. Here's the story. Only one man has won four consecutive World Championships and that was in 1935. It was Victor Barna. At that time, World Championships were held every year. But after 1957, instead of being every year, they were every other year, which made it even tougher. Ma Long won in 2015, 17, and 19. And in 2021, he had the chance to break a record that hadn't been touched in the modern era. And he simply didn't show. This is still one of the great mysteries of table tennis and everyone thought Ma Long might be retiring because we rarely see players play for China after the age of 30. But now, at the age of 34, he is here for this World Championships, which might be his last. China has dominated this event for many years. Both of these players are here, and they both were undefeated at their last World Championships in singles. But here, only one player can win. Nine days, 128 of the world's best players, and only one winner. This is going to be crazy difficult for every single player. So, let the World Championships begin. Day 1 running late for the event. The stadium is just five minutes away from our hotel. Media entrance! Adam Bobro, we want to see you. But I have to quickly reach the commentary box. <sighs> now, it's time to commentate. The match going on is between Ma Long, the GOAT, and Gaston Alto from Argentina. And Ma Long, the captain, the dragon, the dictator, took the victory, winning 4-0. I hear the sound of table tennis being practiced. I'm about to open this door. Snap. That's what I opened to? My goodness. Whoa. So much energy in this room. Hey, Yuki Aouda waving and stretching at the same time. How are things going? Beep. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I didn't realize that Matthias Falk, the silver medalist from the 2019 World Championships, was knocked out of the event in the round of 128. Christian Carlson, make it to the round of 32, we'll be watching. Thanks. Thank you. Day one, a lot of the matches go quicker than usual. There are a lot of 4-0 victories. We've seen 32 matches today in the round of 128. Matthias Falk and Anton Schellberg from Sweden were eliminated. These were major upsets today. But there can be more upsets on day two. All right, this is what my face looks like fresh after a shower. Let's see what happens on day two. Queen of Africa, Dina Mashref. Hi, Adam. I asked her and many others who will be the winner of men's singles. I would say Thunder Dong. World number one. My long. Everybody has their own opinion, but it's a long way to go. We'll see. It's time for the matches. Ooh. Both Wang Chuqin and Lin Gao Yuan of China moving on to the round of 64. I even met some of my subscribers. I'm That's a huge fan of yours from oh. Africa. Thank you. Yeah, sure. such a fan. I've been waiting for you in Singapore. Oh my goodness. Everybody is so friendly here. Shane Overmeyer, nine-time South African national champion. All right, Thanks, see you later. So we got some of the ball kids over here playing some table tennis. <laughs> they got so excited to see me and asked to play with me. So I guess it's time to play a few matches. I played for one and a half hours, and it felt like 30 minutes. Too much fun. What are you using? I'm using uh, the Andro Rezantzer R45. Nice. Round of 128 is over, and there were some big upsets too. Ugo Calderano, world number six, was beaten by Brian Afanador, world number 74. There's a lot to look forward to in the coming days. Time to head into the stadium.
It's day three. Pan Jong Dong is playing Panayotis Gionis. Panayotis Gionis is one of the best defenders in the world. The defentist. Because he's a dentist and a defender. Rare combination. And Fan Jun Dong, the world number one and defending world champion, took the victory. Now, it's time for Alexi Lebron and Ibrahima Diaw. Alexi Lebron is now a two-time French champion at the age of 19, and he's beaten Fan Jun Dong in recent times. It'll be interesting if we see a rematch with Alexi and Fan Jun Dong in this championship. Now he's got five match points. And Alexi won the match. Another day full of some exciting matches. Eugene Wong of Canada was beaten by Ma Long, but a very tight first game. Rules Morgard, the silver medalist from the last World Championships, won against Cho Sung Min of Korea. This is Dmitry Ovcharov. He's beaten the defending world champion, the world number one, Fan Jun Dong, three times in recent history. Dmitry Ovcharov won 4 to 1 over Niagol Stoyanov of Italy. Day number three, a lot of drama here. So far, the only seed who's been knocked out, Ugo Calderano, the sixth seed. So seven of the top eight still in it. Day four. Good morning. Ready to go into the stadium. Already a few matches checked off the to-do list today. This is my buddy, Brian Afanador. The player that beat world number six, the thrill from Brazil, Hugo Calderano in the round of 128. I wanted to say congratulations. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. So when's your next match? Next match, I just lost against really? Anders Lind. I thought I gave all my best, but at the end, this is table tennis, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Wow, man. It's time to enjoy more action. So now the LeBron brothers, Felix and Alexi, are moving on to the round of 32. Just found out using my VPN that I can watch this live, table two at the other end of the stadium right now. Match point! And he does it, Omar Asar makes his way through to the round of 32. Team Slovakia here. He's got some of the most crazy shots in the game. So much feeling, snakes galore, everything. Okay, so Quadri Aruna has been eliminated in the round of 64. The hopes of Africa rest on Omar Asar at this point. We'll have to keep an eye out. At the end of day four, Maharu Yoshimura, one of the last non-Chinese players to beat Ma Long in recent history, was knocked out by Liang Jingquan of China. These are the players who are going to play in the round of 32. Hey, more. Morning. Hello. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win the men's singles event? Not, not me. I know, <laughs> I know. i answer you after um, semifinals. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good to see you. Good time to have a good seat like this for this Christian Carlson Ma Long match. I didn't want to miss it. So many fans are desperately wanting Ma Long to win this match because this might be his last world championships. Oh, short side of the table, Christian Carlson. Malong hasn't lost any match at the World Championships since 2013. Around the net. Malong is moving on to the round of 16. Whether this is Malong's last World Championships or not, there's no question that he's in outstanding form. Lin Ru has two match points against Ru and Filus. The silent assassin moves on through. Congratulations. How you feeling? Pretty good. Awesome, man. Time to commentate some table tennis. Alexi LeBron is out. Felix LeBron got beaten too. This is Adam from the future. While this video was being edited, at just 16 years old, Felix LeBron had become the European men's singles champion after winning the gold medal at the European Games. The LeBron brothers have a very bright future ahead of them. The battles are only getting tougher and there were so many crazy matches today. Omar Asar, the champion of Africa, beat Truls Morgard. This is massive. Ever since the Olympics, Omar has been playing incredibly well. Now Dmitry Ovtrov, the former world number one, is out of the race. Courtesy of Tomislav Putsad. We're more than halfway through the biggest event of the year. Let's move on to day number six. Watching the event, it really reminds me how crazy difficult it is for players to win a world championship. 
They just keep getting better and better, the matches. All nations starts to get closer and closer. We have so many surprises at these World Championships here. To be honest, I didn't face for a long time. Richie, thank you so much. My pleasure. Hey, guess who's here to commentate with me? Funke! Hello! Not only is Funke a seven-time Olympian and an old friend, but she's one of the most charismatic players in the game. Fan Zhendong beat Dong Chiu, the top pen holder in the world. This ends all German hopes for the men's singles event, and Omar Asar moved on over Tomislav Putsar of Croatia in the round of 16. So now world number one will face Omar Asar, the African champion in the quarterfinals on African soil. Now it's time for the match between Ma Long and Lim Jong Hoon. Ma Long looking as strong as ever. Just got through Lim Jong Hoon like a hot knife and a warm stick of butter. You know what was so cool? The table tennis fans came specifically to watch. The reaction was brilliant. They were on their feet. The whole stadium was on their feet. Lin Min Ru, the silent assassin, has been knocked out by Lin Gao Yuan. Five out of eight players in the quarterfinals are from China. That means every Chinese representative is still undefeated. This is going to be really tough for other countries. What's the most exciting match for you tomorrow? Every chi Chinese match. <laughs> That's most of them, right? Yeah. Only three days left. Time flies when you're having fun. Day seven. Omar Asar is playing Fan Zhendong. That should be very interesting. Anders is playing against Wang Juqin. And then Ma Long versus Lin Gao Yuan. Lin Gao Yuan, he's never beaten Ma Long. On my way to the quarterfinals, I saw a subscriber who's looking really sad because Wang Man Yu was eliminated from the women's singles event. Oh. I'm sorry. I hope she can come back strong though. Yeah. Your YouTube channel, we really love it. Especially when the part says game point. Game point. <laughs> so, <laughs> we really love that part. By the way, who do you think is going to win the men's singles event? Sure. Malong. Same. The first match is between Fan Zhendong and Omar Asar. Match point! And Fan Zhendong won it 4-0. The first semi-finalist is the defending champion. Fan Zhendong came through too strong. It was an exciting battle between Tomokazu Harimoto and Liang Jing Quin. And Liang took the victory. And this is the third quarter final for the men. And the match has been taken. No replay needed. 11 to 8. Wang Chuchi. Denmark's Anders Lind also played really well throughout this event. So I had to go interview my old friend after the match. Dude, that was incredible. Thank you. You're coming back after the back, the car accident. Oh, I mean, it's it's two years ago, but two years. the first year I didn't really play any tournaments. And my goal for the summer was just to play all the tournaments, get back to top 100. And he did that. He was playing as world rank number 173 when this event happened, and he's recently moved into the top 40. Anders Lind, incredible. Next tournament, we will mess around. Sounds good. Take yes. care of yourself. Thank you. You too. We just witnessed one of the greatest matches in world championships history. Hina Hayata was down 8 to 10 in the final game, and after that, she saved 9 Nine match points and won the match 21 to 19 what a win for Japan I, I'm, I'm kind of shaking it was amazing I'm I'm completely spent after this nail-biting match it's time for the most awaited match of the day the captain the dragon the dictator Ma Long versus the Dark Knight Lin Gao Yuan and the wide angle sets it up here a lot of the world wants to see him complete his fourth World Championships in singles. Match point! And Ma Long breaks on through. It has not been easy. So here is the semi-final draw. Fan Zhendong will face Liang Jingquin and Ma Long will face Wang Chuqin. All four Chinese players will fight for the trophy. This is going to be really interesting to watch. After commentating, I ran into Hina Hayata's coach, my friend Daisuke Ishida, and thought that Hina might like to have the score sheet from her first ever win against Wang Yidi. In my writing, just the score, this is the most amazing match I've seen in a decade. I was crying. Unbelievable. Thank you, thank you. It's day eight, semi-final. Final day. This is the road to the final. The first match is between Ma Long and Wang Chuqin. And there are four.
four match points here for Wang Chu Chi. Everybody in the crowd is quite nervous, including me. Match point! Survives one. That's a massive roar in the crowd as well. Match point! Wang Chu Chi is into his first men's singles world championship final. Ma Long lost at the world championships for the first time in 10 years. So we have our first finalist, Wang Chu Chi. Let's see the second match of the day between world number five, Liang Jing Kun, and world number one, Fan Zhan Dong. Match point. Fan Zhan Dong into his third men's singles final. So here are our finalists. This is a battle between world number one and world number two. Wait a second, are you subscribed? Because only 15% of the people watching this video are subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy this video, I think you'll love the rest. So hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and never miss a video. The final day. I woke up early and got ready with great excitement for the final we've been waiting for. Okay, it's day nine, the final day. Fan Zhendong has a winning record. Wang chuqin has been unstoppable lately against Ma Long. It's gonna be close. I'm curious what the fans think. So I asked everyone who will win. Fan Zhendong. Wang Chuqin. Wang Chuqin. Fan Zhendong. Wang Chuqin. Fan Zhendong. 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 Wang. Wang Chuqin. Fan Zhendong. Wang Chuqin. Fan Zhendong seems to be the favorite for me too. Welcome back to Durban, South Africa, where the action was going down here on day nine, the final day of action. The match is about to start, but before that, Ma Long was awarded a half-sized replica of the historical St. Bride vase because of his three consecutive wins in 2015, 17, and 19. And this might be his last world championships. I hope more people like to play table tennis. Thanks. South Africa, thanks to Ben. Wow. He breathed a heart onto the trophy while kissing it. Couldn't get any better. Now let's move on to the final match. Match point. He has saved five championship points. And now we're at Deuce in game number five. Deuce. Six in a row! And he's got the serve to convert the game. Game point. And what a moment for Fan Chen Tong. Deuce. Amazing, amazing! Game point. Wang Chuqin just came back from 5-10 down, saving five championship points. Crazy. 9-2. Now, Wang Chuqin needs to save eight championship points. Match point! It will not be a repeat. There will be a fight back. Match point! And the world it number one does it! Fan Zhendong! <laughs> He has now won the men's singles world championships back to back. One in 2021 in USA, and now again. While this event was really exciting and didn't feel like work, I figured if I'm gonna be all the way out here in South Africa, I need to stop and enjoy a safari. So for two days, I saw some incredible views. I learned a ton about the world, nature, and all of our animalistic instincts. It was an incredible experience. I really enjoyed my time here in Africa once again, and I can't wait to be back. Until next time, keep on ponging. Peace.